Elicitations and welcome back to another video. My name is Asada and today I'm going to walk you through how to change your cursors on the desktop version of Roblox. Recently there was a new update that changes the look of the cursors on Roblox and if you wanted to change them the old method will no longer work because there are new cursors and they're put into a new file location. So while the method will be very familiar for those of you who have changed their cursors in the past, it's going to require that you go to a different folder and thus I'm going to be teaching you how to do that today. As well, if there's ever a problem when it comes to um, changing your cursor, if there's a problem like if it disappears or something, then I'm going to be teaching you how to reinstall Roblox quickly and get back the default cursors. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of Floodscape 2 here. And I'm going to be giving you guys a few ways right now of getting to the folder that has the cursors in it. So first of all, if you're on Windows, go ahead and right click on the Roblox player icon if you have it on the desktop. And simply go to open file location and that will bring you to the folder that you need to go to. Alternatively, if you don't have this little desktop icon, you can hold the Windows key and press R and then you will get a little box that says run. And what you want to do is in this run box, you want to type in percent, capital A app, capital D data. So one more time, that's percent app data percent. And once you type this in and click OK, it will take you to a folder called roaming, which is right next to app data. So what you want to do is go up. You can use the up arrow or you can click on the app data and go back to app data. Then simply go to local. Scroll down to Roblox. Versions. And then the tricky part here is that you might not know which version you're using. However, if you uh, can look at the last date modified for all these folders, you're going to want to go to the one that was most recently changed because that is likely the version that has been installed most recently and is the one that is being currently used. Uh, sadly, if you are a Mac user, I do not have a visual display for you. However, I do know how to get to that folder on Mac. What you want to do is go into your finder and look at the applications. Scroll down to the Roblox player and you want to right click and go to show package contents. Then simply navigate through the folders of contents and then resources and then it should take you to a folder very similar to this. Now from here, if you're on Windows, you should be, if you're on Windows or you're on Mac, you should be in a folder that has contents that look very similar to this. What you want to do is go through content, textures, and go to cursors. And here we have the new folder that contains all the new cursors. You want to go to keyboard mouse. And these are the three cursors that are being used in the latest update of Roblox. So what you could do to make your own cursor, you can look up a tutorial online or you can download some from the internet. Um, please be careful when you're downloading stuff from the internet because there could be viruses. You always want to make sure, always have an antivirus at the ready when you're downloading things. Um, I actually made some of my own cursors, and I'm going to be putting them in here today. So pretty much what you want to do is take your little folder of cursors, and you're going to want to replace the cursors in here. So the file format, if you're wondering if you're trying to make your own, it needs to be a PNG file in the dimension 64 times 64. Again, if you are a little confused at what that means, you don't have to fret too much because I will be providing some of my own cursors as well as some of the older Roblox cursors in the description or in the comment section. So what you want to do is in the folder that you have all the cursors you want to bring over, you want to right click and you want to rename them accordingly to what you want them to be. So for example, I have here this orange one that I want to be the little pointer because that's going to be the brightest color in my opinion. The far cursor, which is like the default cursor, will be purple. And the last one I want to be for the text cursor, I'll want that to be blue. So I'm going to rename this file to iBeam Cursor. And then simply copy and paste that over. So copy and paste. And you can see that over here, all the files are still the same name, but they have changed the icons themselves. 
Now, just as a note, you want to probably save your cursors in a backup folder somewhere on your desktop or somewhere where you can keep it where it won't be eaten up by Roblox updates because whenever Roblox updates, it will tend to delete older versions. And with that, it will delete the cursors that you currently have and will replace them with the default cursors. So every time Roblox updates, if you want to keep your custom cursors, you will have to replace them again. And that's why I would advise that you have a backup folder with all your cursors in them. So these are the basic three cursors. Um, also, another one to keep note of if you'd like to use shift lock at all in some games. You want to go back up through cursors, go back up to textures. So if you're coming from the version folder, it's going to be version, content, and then textures. And then you can see here you scroll down and you should happen upon the mouse locked cursor. So if you have mouse lock enabled, this will be the cursor that shows up when you press shift. So I have here my own mouse lock cursor. I'm going to copy that over and paste it in. You can see it's turned from a circle into a little crosshair here. And honestly, if you want to customize your Roblox a little bit, you can change out a lot of the a lot of the icons and the folders and stuff. You can be very creative with it. Um, it will take some trial and error, and sometimes you might want to just make sure that the files are the right size, but if you have like a creative mind, you can go ahead and just mess around with it and replace whatever you want to replace. So for me, I'm going to replace the little loading icon. If you come over here to the loading folder, this is the little icon in the bottom right that shows up and spins in a circle whenever you're loading into a game. So I'm going to come in here and replace that with my channel icon because I thought it'd be pretty funny. So once we have all that, everything should be okay. So we can close out of this folder. We can close out of my backups folder. And we're going to go ahead and go back into Flood Escape 2. And we're going to see if our new cursors work. So you can see in the bottom right real quick, you saw my little icon going up there. I get my daily login bonus. And you can see already that my cursor is bright purple. If I go down to the bar right here, it turns to orange. That's if you have the little pointer and you can click. And to test out the icon for changing text, you can see it turns into a bright blue when I go over the input a Twitter code section. I'm actually going to put in one right now because I can. This one should be expiring somewhat soon, so if you get to it around the time the video comes out, then congrats. Otherwise, oops. That tended aside, we can also see, if I press shift, that the mouse lock cursor is now a reticle. So it seems like all of our cursors have been successfully replaced. And that should be it for replacing the cursors. Now, if for some reason you either want to get rid of your cursors or you put in a cursor and it goes missing and so you just have like nothing on the screen for the cursor, what you can do is navigate back to the versions folder so I'm going to use the open file location method. Navigate back to the versions folder. And what you want to do is the version that you were just messing with, you want to go ahead and simply delete it. Delete the entire folder. And that'll take a moment because there are lots of files there. Um, on the Mac, I'm pretty sure you can simply delete all the contents and uh, a similar effect should happen. And so we can close out of this, bring back uh, the Roblox website, and if we click on play, we're going to see an error message. This is perfectly okay because Roblox just had all of its files taken away, so it's going to be a little upset. And we can go ahead and click on download and install Roblox. So we're going to go ahead and go through that process. I've already done this before once, so it says I already have the file. I click on it, and it says installing Roblox. And then it says Roblox is successfully installed. So we can go ahead and join the game once again. And we can see that everything is back to normal. In the bottom right, it's the regular Roblox logo. The cursor right now is regular, it's not colored. Uh, same goes for the clicky icon, and same goes for the codes. And same goes for shift lock. So if you guys ever have any trouble with your cursors, you can go ahead and start from scratch simply by reinstalling Roblox like that. And if there's anything else I missed, I'll probably be sure to leave it in the comment section below, but I believe that's everything that has to do with changing a cursor on Roblox in the desktop version. 
If you like what I do, go ahead and give the video a like, maybe leave a comment showing your support, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be trying to put up some new videos. And I hope you have a fantastic day.